indeed. Uh, this is a uh, little demo, demo in uh, Second Life. <laughs> and what we're looking at here is this is my little house I have in Second Life. Uh, and from there, I pulled up the map and I'm going to go to an airport. The green dots are people. Uh, some can be uh, programs that are in there, but most of them are actually uh, real people. I just teleported over there. And now, uh, looking at the sunset, the environment which you can adjust to your liking or go with the flow, um, the airport is starting to what we say res in. So all the materials and the uh, objects are uh, downloading and rendering. Almost everything in Second Life is uh, built by the residents ourselves. And we have a, you can, now you can bring in things if you build, oh, actually I should get back to the uh, narration here. Um, what I'm doing now is I went into my inventory and I pulled out uh, one of the things in my inventory. And in your inventory you can have clothes, buildings, uh, vehicles. So this is a vehicles folder. I pulled out the um, this DC3 um, replica that somebody built in Second Life and I bought for a few dollars. And uh, I pulled up a HUD heads-up display, which you see there, engine one, engine two, and so forth. I did a lot of modifications on the graphics on the plane that came with those original TWA graphics, but uh, there were some problems with it, so I fixed those and uh, actually used Photoshop to do that. So, anyhow, a uh, quick start there because <laughs> so much was going by. But basically, I was at my house. I teleported over here to the Hollywood area airport, and um, I've resed my DC-3. And the plan here in this video is to um, do a takeoff and a landing. Oh, we see here somebody in a fancy dress just came up and walked by. Um, checking out the plane, no doubt. Oh, there she goes. She's got her high heels on. <laughs> Frankly, when I was filming this, uh, capturing this, didn't even notice her. So it's kind of cool to see she's walking around. So, um, here we go. We're uh, checking out the plane. Oh, another plane's getting ready to take off. And you notice the textures aren't clear as we it's still loading. Um, and it appears to be a female pilot, a tattooed female pilot. It's actually quite a few. Uh, and I know they could be masculine, they could be a, you know, some guy. But I know for a fact that a lot of women love to, to fly in. in uh, these planes in Second Life, you know, and there are some great planes that you can uh, buy that other the other people in here make, and I mean some of them are just outstanding. For example, my DC-3. I mean, somebody really had a love for this plane, you know, and tried to faithfully uh, create it. So here I am. I'm clicking on the plane, and I'm going to get in it now. And uh, once you are sitting on the object. Uh, you can start to activate the scripts which operate the object. Some nice interior. Whoever made this plane uh, really put some time into that dash and everything. And now with the HUD, I'm setting the security. What I've said is I don't want anybody to get on the plane or sit in the co-pilot seat. So I've turned off that. Now I'm starting the engines up. And... Um, straightforward but very nice whoever wrote this uh, the scripts for this little plane you know they really did a nice job I mean, it's uh, the HUD I've never seen anything like this before um, really uh, very smart design so now we've got both engines running and I'm working the camera around and I see a big plane over there I'm not sure if they're gonna get getting ready to take off but uh, we'll soon find out. So I'm just going to go for it now. 
start moving out there to the uh, takeoff ramp, which is the left ramp at this airport. Quick look inside the cabin here. Uh, this plane can seat, I think, about 20 people in most vehicles. You can only have like, you know, four or five. So the person who wrote the script for this. Uh, somehow worked out a, a way around that, but I've never had any passengers on the plane yet. I've only owned it for uh, a couple of weeks. And um, the plane is operated just with the keyboard, so um, you know, one bump up on, one up arrow is 5% uh, throttle. Okay, good. That's where we stop. Yes, now getting ready to take off here from uh, Hollywood Airport. It's very simple controls on the plane. Basically, just use your arrow keys and uh, your uh, H down and up to do various things. Of course, in Second Life, there's a lot of lag, which means that you know, the speed of the network uh, traffic packets are very slow, so it's very challenging. Here we go. I'm airborne. I'm crossing the sim. This is a little bump right there. And all I'm going to do is uh, drop my speed and come back around. See, they're rezzing. The airport is just a, the island. You can't even see the buildings because I have my the distance of rendering uh, according to the uh, capabilities of my hardware, which is uh, pretty low for gaming. Crossing the sim, that's where you cross two areas which are on two different computers. Now I'm uh, coming in pretty easy, dropping the speed. And, uh, Cross wind there. Somebody's very nicely, patiently waiting for me to come in, which is always good. Because there are some crazy people in here. That's another camouflaged fighter jet being ready to take off. And I'm going to gracefully get off the runways. Most of the, uh, well, at least the majority of the users are uh, in the States. So this is like 5 o'clock in the morning, uh, California time. It's always pretty quiet in here. This is an evening for me, 10, 10, yeah, 10 o'clock. Uh, that's good because if you get a lot of planes in here, a lot of people, uh, the performance of the sim, the simulator, becomes just horrible. I mean, there's so much lag, it's ridiculous. But right now, it's not bad. So here we're kind of canning around and uh, checking out the pilot in this fighter jet. A little tattooed gal uh, getting ready to uh, go off into the skies of Second Life. And uh, here's me with my DC-3. I'm in. I'm still... I, I just uh, shut down the uh, throttle there so I could check this out last time before she takes off. Again, these things are all made by the uh, residents in Second Life. Uh, everything. I mean, from the textures of the runway to that plane. Now, it looks like she might have gone to the sea, but that's because it's a, another sim. See, uh, to view it from this sim, it, you don't see the real... to me. <laughs> here goes another fighter jet off in the distance here. I'm shutting down the engines. That was a uh, very nice little takeoff and uh, landing. 
turning off the old lights and I'm jumping out of the aircraft somewhat gracefully and, uh, and that's it that's a nice little flying ex experience that you can have in Second Life that shop behind me over there to the uh, to the right is where you can buy planes for real money but they only cost you know dollars uh, for these things yeah that's it Second Life what a trip